Good morning to you, and welcome to the children's programming here on the British Broadcasting Corporation with myself, Daniel Veronica Clarkson, and Jeff. Um, you, you all right this morning, Dan? Quite well, thank you, Jefferson. And what a fine day to enjoy some sensible programmes. Well, I couldn't agree more, but um, you and sensible don't often go hand in hand, do you? Uh -huh. In a few moments, we shall be joining Mr. Harwood for some more bear behaving sensibly. But first, let us peruse over Jefferson's sensible porcelain dogs collection. Oi, what are you doing with my dogs? Just admiring their sensible beauty, Jefferson. Oh, I get it. You pretend to like them, lull me into a false sense of security, and then smash them up with your comedy hammer. Hmm. Maybe we should peruse no longer, as you might be tempted to do something silly. I'm sorry what now? Ah, I see, looking at my pocket watch of Sensible, that we have just enough time for me to peruse over one of my favourite Sensible books. Oh, I get it, the old Sensible book routine. You pretend it's Sensible, then it's an exploding book made of cake. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> no, that is far too silly. We will be looking over my favourite little English dictionary. What? There's a gag coming, there's a gag coming. A. A bat. Backwards, behind, taken aback, disconcerted, It's a surprised. real dictionary. I I'm not sure what's going on. You guys watch uh, Bear Baving Badly. I'll... Abacus. I'll wait for the punch. Frame with wire along, which beads a slit for calculating. Calcul... Zoom. Moving quickly with buzzing sound, cause aeroplane to mount at high speed and steep angle. Mm. Zucchini. Courgette. <laughs> Have you... Have you just spent all of Bear Behaving Badly reading that entire dictionary? Well, not the whole dictionary, Jefferson. I mean, some words were far too silly. They had to be missed out. Like, footle. Its definition was utter nonsense. Dan, there is definitely something up with you today. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I'm always this sensible, Jeff. No, you're not. I am, Jeff. It's, it's not as if I've got a letter from my dad saying that I've got to grow up and stop being so silly and that I've just been a disappointment to the whole family, is it? I sense you're trying to tell me something. No, I'm not. <clears throat> Dear Daniel Veronica, your mother, Veronica, and I are most disappointed by your silly behaviour. If you are ever going to join me in the family business, you need to get a lot more serious-minded and stop hanging around with that dimwit Jeff. Oh, he remembers me. Grow up, boy. Yours with deepest regret and embarrassment, Mr. Daniel Clarkson Sr. Brackets, your father. I'm not just a silly little boy, Jeff. <laughs> we will no more. I'm sensible Daniel from now on. I will join the family business. What is the family business? I do not have a clue, actually. Well, don't take this the wrong way, Dan, but you're very good at acting the fool. No, it's sensible Daniel now and... Nothing's going to make me see otherwise. Well, Dan's obviously going to be no fun today, so I might as well just sort out my... Oh, your comedy hammer always getting in the way. Sort out my porcelain dog collection. Right, I'll just bend over here for a little while, sort him out there. Put him there. No, don't him tempt there. me. And this one right over here. <laughs> <laughs> In case you've just joined us, Dan has turned over a new leaf. Honestly, no more larking about or anything like that. He's, he's, he's acting all grown up. He's, he's even wearing a suit. <laughs> Bam! Anarchy! Yeah! Woohoo! I can't do it anymore, Jeff. Where's your suit? I gave it away to a businessman. Uh-huh. Yeah, but y y your dad wants you to join the family business. He won't let you unless you're grown up and sensible, will he? Oh, Jeff, I can't be sensible. It just hurts my brain. Unless your dad's a clown. Are you sure you've got no idea what he does? Not a clue, mate. I mean, I know he speaks 20 languages. Well, anything else? Not really anything of interest. I mean, he's got a huge office with 10 phones on it, and every phone he answers, he uses a different voice. But that's just regular dad stuff. Don't think that's that regular dad oh, stuff. Oh, come on, Jeff. Every dad gets a call once a week from the Prime Minister to go away on some world-saving mission in his stealth copter. I mean, that's just a regular Sunday afternoon for dads, isn't no, it? No, a regular Sunday afternoon for dads is sitting on a sofa shouting at the football. Mm. I might have an idea what your dad does. Ah, I don't care, Jeff. He's a loser. It's boring what he does. I want to be exciting. I want to be a CBBC presenter and, you know, just go off on a whim. Maybe take this pot plant and just throw it to the floor. It's funny, I've never seen that pot plant before. Ah. Hello, son. Oh, hello, Dad. How are you? I knew it. Mr Clarkson, you're a spy. 
Yeah, Jeff, he's just a big loser. Look at him coming into my work, checking up on me. <laughs> Daniel, son, you and I need to have a chat. Oh, right, sure, sure, but can we watch Bear Behaving Badly first? Oh, absolutely, that's a given. No, oh, it's a given. That's yeah, given, that. That's given. Hello once again from the CBBC office, where Dan's actual dad has turned up. Be quiet, Jefferson, would you? Daniel and I need to have a serious chat. Yes, Miss Clarkson, sorry, Daniel, Ms. Clarkson. the very point of that programme we've just been watching absolutely exemplifies what's wrong with life here. Yeah, but it's Nev the Bear, Dad. He's so cute and naughty and funny. Yeah, that's my point, you see. Life isn't cute and naughty and funny. Life is a challenge, Daniel. Life is a destiny. Life is would you sit down, please, Jefferson, when a grown-up is speaking. Yeah, but I, I, I was just going to go and... Yes, and just be quiet. Yes, Miss Clarkson, sorry, Miss Clarkson. So, Daniel, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you know, I think I might just leave you two to watch Just that. stay where you are. Um, Daniel, can you see how important it is to me that you follow in the family's footsteps, that you follow me into the field? The field? Are you a farmer? Oh, I know what you do, Mr Clarkson. Look at me, I'm the bright one, I'm clever, I know what you Jefferson, do. Jefferson, could you be quiet and possibly now speak only when you're spoken to? My mummy says Daniel, I'm a good boy. Please, try and understand. Can you follow me into the job? Well, I, I probably could, Dad, but I don't even know what the job is. Daniel, Daniel, I speak 20 languages. I travel by helicopter. I live in a bunker. I go at a moment's notice all over the world on secret missions. Surely you understand what I do. Are you Santa Claus? Jeff, my dad's Santa Claus! <sighs> I am a spy! A pie? That's even better! Do you hear that, Jeff? My dad's a pie. As Dan oh. is an idiot, this might take some time. We'll leave them to some father-son catch-up time and you and I, we can watch Bear Behaving Badly. How's and that? And who said you could speak? Yeah, sorry, Mr Clarkson. Yeah, shut up, Daniel. Jeff. Sorry. <laughs>